Hey, it's Fawn, and welcome to a brand new edition of Fallout 4's Hidden Treasures, ladies and gentlemen. This time, we are doing the Boylston Club. That's the best way I'm going to pronounce it. This one was suggested by Pone Sausage. Yeah, so thanks very much, Pone Sausage. Uh, this is going to be a smaller, but definitely an interesting location, nevertheless. Let's take a look at where it is on the map. Uh, if we go all the way in, it's going to be right here, Boylston Club. And Diamond City is going to be over here. Alright, so it's an unassuming red door just on the side of a street. But it does have its own location. Let's head inside. Alrighty, so not much in this main hallway. We got a couple of swanky chairs and an elevator. That's about it. But let's just double check, make sure we're not missing anything. I'm not seeing anything. Inside the elevator we go. Also, something's telling me I don't need to be in sneak for this, so we're just going to peruse at our leisure. Okay, second floor. So we got a pool table on the right. We got some more of these swanky chairs and sofas. We got some skeletons, a lot of skeletons actually. One, two, three, four. And these skeletons don't have clothes, but the bartender skeleton does. So does that mean these skeletons were naked? Or these people were naked when they died? Probably not. Maybe it's just an oversight. Um, but on the bar here, we have some poisoned wine. Yeah, interesting. We'll take that. Okay, let's look behind the bar real quick. We got a radio, a cooler. Radio's still on, actually. And we have a Boylston Club terminal. Okay, Boylston Club membership policy. The honor of membership in the Boylston Club shall be extended to current and former presidents, vice presidents, senators, and justices of the United States, current and former governors and lieutenant governors of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the legitimate male heirs of members, other distinguished gentlemen of social or intellectual worth as nominated by the membership and willing to remit an annual fee of $500,000. It would appear that this was a refined gentleman's club, and you needed to be rich pretty much to attend. Uh, we also have a holotape that we can eject, a toast, so we'll eject that real quick. And then we have events calendar for October. Canadian cigars, fat or fashion, a members only tasting with master tobacconist Richard Glazier. An evening with Lieutenant Governor Graham, seven course pre-fee. I don't even know how to pronounce that, that's how poor I am. Uh, seven course, I'm gonna say pre-fee, dinner with spirits to follow, the Red Menace, Wines of Asia, monthly tasting with sommelier, Lincoln Thomas, oh man, this is the episode that makes me seem so stupid and unrefined, special event added, 1024, memoriam gala, free food, open bar for members still able to make it, final toast at midnight, see flyer for details. And that is the day the bombs dropped, I assume. Safe control. These rich people better have some damn good stuff in this safe. Um, but we need to find it first. Where is it? Is it back here? I'm not seeing anything in this room. Oh, I know for a fact everyone's going to tell me to use my pit boy light. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Nip that in the butt. Nip that in the butt. Or is it bud? I'm not sure. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Pre-war money. Cool beans. Nothing else in this room. Nothing else in this room. Uh, we did get that ejected hollow tape, so let's take a look at that. Inventory. Miscellaneous. And I forget exactly what it was called. Okay, it was the first one, actually. A toast. It's closing time, gentlemen. If any of you have changed your mind, it's time to go. James will see you out. No one. Very well. Gentlemen, it has been an honor and a privilege. Before we drink, allow me to offer a final toast. To the world that was, mankind shall never see its like again. Alright, and that's about it. So obviously all of these rich gentlemen decided to commit suicide at the same time before the bombs dropped uh, using this poisoned wine. And here we have the aftermath. Thanks for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Again, leave any and all suggestions for places you want to see me explore in the comment section below. Remember, I will not explore places that are quest-related. If they're miscellaneous quest-related, that's quite alright. 
I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.